I have some amazing pickling cucumbers and I just washed them and drained them, drained the water off and we will make some salt pickles out of these beautiful little pickling cucumbers. Salt pickles are an old recipe and uh, they are made with the slice of yeast bread to help them ferment. So what we will do here is we'll take the pickling cucumbers and I'll show it to you and we'll snap off the top like chop off the little top um, and make an incision like a cross a short incision on both ends and then we will fill these pickling cucumbers I have a wonderful big jar here and I'm going to layer them in uh, until the jar is full. So here we are at the next stage for our pickling cucumbers, salt pickles. I have four liter, which is about four quarts of salt here and about a half a pound of Himalaya salt. I like to use the best salt possible and uh, so use any sea salt or whatever you feel comfortable with. Um, I like Himalaya salt and I'll show you here I buy it in large boxes, 10 pounds, and I don't want to make advertising, but in case somebody is interested, you can buy it like this, or you can buy it in big rocks, uh, Gamma Salt here in Canada, Toronto, I guess they are, is a great place to get it. And so I have, again, 60 grams per one quart which makes about a half a pound for four quarts. And over here I have my pickling cucumbers, tip cut off and then cut, cut crosswise in the bottoms and the tops. You can see it here and here as well. And here we have pickling spices and some fresh bay leaf. And here I have a piece of um, horseradish. Here's the whole root. You can buy it in the grocery stores. Some have it. They keep for a long time and uh, you can actually store them in the fridge in a um, canning jar full with water and just stick it in and once in a while uh, replace the water. And this one here is about from last fall and I still have a piece. So I'm going to chop this off and pour all this here into here, all my pickling spices and there's no real amount to use, I just use half a handful then I'm going to chop this up and put it in as well and now we are waiting for the water to boil up to dissolve the salt and then we'll let it cool down and then I'll show you how to finish it off thank you so much so here is um, uh, here are our salt pickles again. I filled some salt, cool salt water with Himalaya salt already up. Now I'm going to put a little more, and you can see the, all the pickling spices. I'm going to put a um, slice of bread in. I bake my own bread, so I use the um, um, whole wheat. Um, and spelt bread, that's what I had, but you can use sourdough, whatever you want. And this is going to kind of flop over, but that's okay. Put a little bag in with some water in it, because that will keep, will keep the, the bread down and will keep um, it totally sealed. And now we'll leave it like that for a couple of weeks and it will ferment, the bread will help the fermentation and in two three weeks we have the most wonderful salt pickles. What we will do then is we take them all out, take them all out, put them into different jars or smaller jars or even the same one, it doesn't matter. We'll strain the pickling spices out We'll boil the water up again, let it cool down and pour it over the pickles. 
and of course we discard the bread at that time too and then you can just close them and keep them in your refrigerator for a couple of months or so okay have fun with your salt pickles and we'll see you next time